This is what I got at the train show yesterday on February 6, 2016. And, um, so, let's start off with the billboard. Here, I've got a 1948 American Flyer, Gilbert American Flyer, uh, Santa Fe billboard, whistling billboard with the original box. It's got the train graphics on the front and what scale. Developed at the Gilbert Hall of Science. And then the top up, all the, the top and the back all have the same graphics on them. This is the better side of the box. Um, let's see what they call a whistling billboard, and I assume that little gray mechanism in there is probably what makes the whistling sound. And then the lights shine through that slit right there up onto the billboard. Um, I know it's 1948, and I know it has the right box, because the box even says 1948. Let's see. Camera focus. Okay, I guess it's not going to focus. But, uh, copyright 1948 by the Gil A.C. Gilbert Company. <clears throat> and then it just says American Flyer Gilbert up there. And then I got this Rock Island um, gondola car, train car. Um, this is for the old style trains, as you can tell by the coupling, for the trains like that. <clears throat> um, the newer style trains have couplings like that, more like a real train coupling. Um, it's all tin. And it's got an identification number, Rock Island, and I think that's Connecticut, Rock Island, and... Is it Pennsylvania? Something like that. Um, anyway, the car is very light. And for the most part, the paint's okay. It's a little... On the, in that corner, in the back two corners, it's a little rough, but I got that for a good price. And, um, here, I have a Mercury, um, let's see, what is it, New York Central, um, Mercury, tr um, Streamline Train. Um, I bought this in parts, so I bought, first I bought the body of the train, and then I bought the mechanism. Um, assuming that it works okay, um, should be able to put this together, stick it on the track, and it'll go around the track. I mean, yeah, the copper pad needs, uh, scrubbed up with the aggressive brush, but other than that, I hope it will work. And then it sits on, the, the train sits on it like this, when the holes match up. And, um, then a light goes in there. And they match, the light matches up with the train pretty good. 
and then the actual light on the train it's got a piece of glass um, and then it's got the grill tempo up there and the New York Central line um, it's actually a separate piece as are the Mercury emblem, pl nameplate, whatever. And what I, here's what I was talking about with the old old style couplings. Probably work better. That's how. That's how the old ones hook up. have a black streamlined one of these that is a New York Central and um, I got it last year and but it works for sure because I've ran it a few times on my track <clears throat> that one hopefully we can take it to the train guy and he can get it working if it doesn't already work and then here I've got a Pennsylvania caboose and um, <coughs> um <coughs> it's got a little smokestack right there and it appears to have been cracked right there and then glued back on but that's okay it, it's on there so um Obviously, the caboose would go on the back of the train, so it doesn't even have a coupling on the back set of wheels, just on the front set. And on the three rail, <coughs> three three rail tracks that I have, um, this little wheel right here um, <coughs> rubs on that middle rail and creates the friction that powers the light inside the caboose so that um, when it's going down the track uh, the windows are lit up well that's really cool I just realized that um, the brake wheel on the back actually turns but yeah the I think the la yeah the ladder and everything is metal on it uh, out of these uh, plastic, waxy, whatever they're made out of, windows, it's only missing one, although that one, er, more and more, looks like it's going to fall in, um, you know, obviously it's a Pennsylvania boxcar, I assume it works, <coughs> yeah, it does, it does, that's what the, that's, the train guy told me it works, so, I'm assuming that it works. And then here I have a Tasmanian Devil boxcar for the um, 40th anniversary of the Tasmanian Devil. Right there he's dressed up. And then he's got Wild Thing over here. And he's tearing through the jungle it looks like. Built in 1995 by Lionel. Um, I thought it was 94. Uh, 95. <clears throat> and then, um, the doors slide open. Both doors slide open. But. That one doesn't want to slide open, but you can see they both go Inside of the box the car, there's nothing in there. But, um... Uh... You know, it has 
obviously the new style couplings and um, I didn't realize but even this old caboose has that type of coupling so um but that's a lot older than this is um see this one obviously it's not gonna <clears throat> light up or anything so it doesn't have that middle wheel right there um it's got real suspension and springs in all the wheels um then i've got the box and on the side of the box it says tasmanian devil um 40th anniversary standard box you know and that says o scale which is uh the scale of all the trains i bought and then um another train thing i bought was this sunoco oil rig let's see um Number 455, Oil, Derrick, and Pumper. Made in the U United States of America by Lionel Company in New York. Okay, so I've got the string and the weights and the hook and pulley in here. Um, but when it's wired up, some of the barrels just lay in there, I think. And then this goes up. And down and up and down like that. Um, I think the Sunoco, yeah, the Sunoco sign is a separate piece, but all the pieces are metal and that's painted on there. That's not a sticker tampo. And it's got the motor part right there. And all the pipes and stuff. Um, I'll do another video about that maybe when we get it hooked up so, so that it's <clears throat> functioning. The last train related thing I bought was um, this, I think this is 50's um, street lamp post. Um, again, it needs a light bulb, but that's not a, that's not a problem at all. <laughs> um, and then I got some Hot Wheels at the train show. I got this, um, 1979, uh, Peterbilt tanker truck. This would have been in the Workhorses series. They also made this tanker, um, and it said Hot Wheels Railroad on the side of it, um, whoops, hold on, so anyway, it still has the pipe hookups, whatever you want to call them, okay, the tanker truck was red, I was just waiting for the video to load, um, this is an unpainted tanker. You can see the difference. That one's unpainted. That one's painted. The unpainted ones are a little shinier, I think. Um, this is all metal, so it's real heavy. Uh, this is a... Um, Isuzu... No, not a Mitsubishi, I mean. Um flatbed truck matchbox came out with this in <clears throat> 1999 but this is the new ser new version new paint scheme it's got the little little jans tow service tampos on the cab and then the uh bed slides out on it for um you know, like, something like that. I'm gonna have to make a part two. So, join in.